We're designing spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. As you can see, we are ready for some do-it-yourself, refresh, and redo projects mm -hmm. to make your home a better place to live. Okay, but are we really going to take on these projects here now? Yeah, I have a tool belt. Hello. Oh. And you have okay. a pencil. <laughs> we'll give it a try, but the best bet will be let the great DIY ideas and tips come from the pros that you're going to see on today's show. This is true. All right, well, I'm ready to take it on, so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Hey, Debbie, looking good. Hey, thanks. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Nope, not at all. <laughs> you know, I know nothing about sandpaper. We really should watch this next segment. We really should. I really hope it's about sandpaper. Yes, it is. Hi, my name is Amy, and I love flea markets, and I love garage sales. There's so many things that you can find there. You can't find them anywhere else. Um, I collect books. I collect artwork, pillows, anything that's old and vintage looking. I love it. But lately, I've been on a little furniture kick. I've been collecting some small chairs, some shelving, and outdoor patio furniture. I got this piece here at a flea market just down the street. I got it for a steal, so I couldn't resist it. This one I might end up keeping myself because I really love it. This is my hanging wall basket here, and I cannot wait to put some pretty little flowers in it. Some of the stuff I'm going to resell, some of the stuff I keep for myself. I want to refinish it. I know that I have to do some sanding, but it's a little overwhelming to me. I really don't know where to start. I'm Paul Krupa with Norton Abrasives. I hear Amy has a dilemma with a furniture refinishing project, and I'm here to help her out. Okay, Paul, so this is my first project here. It's a metal chair. I love it. The paint, as you can see, is already starting to chip and flake off, so where do I start? Actually, this is a great first project perfect for a beginner. Very simple Okay. to completely strip the chair and refinish it and it'll look like a professional job when you're done. All right, well, um, when I go to the hardware store, um, I'm a little overwhelmed. There's just so many products to choose from. How do I know which sandpaper I pick, what type of grit? I need help with that. When you're in a hardware store standing in front of that bay, it's very intimidating. Yeah. There are probably a hundred different products to pick. There are products for metal, products for wood, products for drywall. And sanding and sandpaper and stripping products are really quite easy to figure out if you understand a few things about grit size. Okay, so make it simple for me. I'll make it simple. <laughs> grit size is simple. The smaller the number, the coarser the product. Okay. The bigger the number, the finer the product. So a number like 36 would be a coarse or extra coarse stripping product. And a number like 400 would be a finished sanding product or a final sanding product. Okay, well, where do we start? Well, we start by uh, getting a stripping product, uh, which is called a rapid strip wire brush. All right. So it's somewhat flexible, uh, and the product will work very rapidly uh, to strip and remove all the loose paint and most of the rest of the paint that's, that's not bonded to the surface. But before we use the product, we should put safety glasses on all because right. our eyesight is most important. Absolutely. Okay, let's put those on. Well, Amy, it looks like we're just about done. The next step is to do the final sanding, and okay. we'll do that with a sanding sponge, uh, Norton 3X 100 grit sanding sponge, uh, okay. to do the final sanding to give you a surface for the paint to bond to. Wow, Amy, this looks fantastic. What yeah, I, I love it. And you know, it really wasn't that hard and it didn't take too long. Well, that's what happens when you use premium products to do a job like this. Not only do they last longer and work better, but you get the job done faster and you get a much more professional result. I love it. I'm really happy with it. But while I have you here, I have one more piece of furniture. It's wood table. Okay. Can we go look at it while you're here? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Okay, great. Okay, 
Paula. So here's my cute little table that I got. I love it, but it's got a little bit of damage up here. So what would I use for this wood? Well, this is a great project where you're actually going to use sandpaper and also sanding sponges if you want to. Uh, because, but because of the damage, we're actually going to have to strip all the finish off so that you have a nice uniform project when you're finished and ready to stain it. What we'll start with is a coarse grit like 60 grit, which is more than coarse enough to strip the finish. And then after we use the 60 grit, we're going to move up to 100 grit. And 100 grit is going to take the 60 grit scratches out. And then after we sand with 100 grit, we're going to move to 150 grit. And 150 grit will give you a nice uniform scratch pattern that will make this table look very good. Great. And um, where do I get it? You can get it at your local hardware store or home improvement center. Okay. Thanks so much for your help. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Well, Paul really gave me some great tips on how to finish the rest of my projects. I can't wait to get back to the flea markets and garage sales and find some more stuff to work on. It really wasn't as hard as I thought. For more information, visit NortonConsumer.com to see the line of DIY products that can help you with your home projects. And be sure to visit us at DesigningSpaces.tv. That was a lot of fun. But seriously, DIY home improvement projects can be very fulfilling for homeowners. It's empowering. It is, not to mention the value-added part of it. And you're really making your home a better place. And with that, it's time to say goodbye. We are out of time here on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.